Hey there, folks. Welcome to your Hero Bulldog Report. I'm Managing Editor Matt Lindbergh. With me are Sports Editor Nick Carey and Staff Writer Aaron Carson. We're getting you set for Wednesday's edition. Aaron, you recently spent some time over at Halifax Regional. They got some uh, new eats going on down in the cafeteria. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, they've been revamping their cafe and brought in a new chef, and they're trying to lead from by example from what I understand. So if you're going to be telling people to eat healthy, you can't have junk down in the basement where uh, people go to get food, I guess. Okay. So it sounds like they got some good uh, food down there that we'll have to try. Really good. Yeah. Um, now, you also recently spent some time with uh, officials with Weldon City Schools and KIPP. Can you tell us what's going on uh, between the two uh, schools or districts? Yeah, um, apparently there's a new elementary and middle school um, building that's proposed to be built um, near Weldon City Schools district, so um, in or near their district. So um, Weldon City Schools is hoping that there will be a conversation there to talk about how it could affect the district. Okay. Now, uh, it's been nice. We've been adapting to the weather. It's looking like spring and feeling like spring out there. And uh, Nick was heading out to go cover some uh, local baseball and softball and soccer action. But unfortunately, it uh, sounds like the weather is going to prevent that from happening. So, Nick, tell us what you know. Yeah, all the, you know, this evening's games were pushed back to tomorrow or later in the week. So, you know, with that in mind, I've been talking to coaches and we'll have a story on, you know, what does that do to a team when you get, you know, getting amped up for a game and then, Kind of have to you know reset and you know wait another day or two days. Okay. Well, these are some of the things we'll have for you in tomorrow's edition. Be sure to check it out Wednesday. Thanks.